Hey guys, this is Tom Ron with The Verge, and we're looking at the new Twitter client for Windows Phone 8. So Twitter has updated the UI to, uh, to basically uh, put it on parity with iOS and Android. Um, you can see you can still swipe across uh, between all the columns. Um, it seems to re refresh the columns uh, a lot quicker than it used to, and you can swipe across all the columns like so. Um, you've obviously got the, uh, the profile column where you can access your direct messages, your tweets, photos, and lists. Um, and you've got the Discover tab where uh, Twitter highlights all the trending and uh, who to follow, etc. Um, in terms of what's new, um, if you go into the new tweet section, uh, if you go into the app and uh, start trying to fill out a Twitter, Twitter profile, it'll actually suggest them and you can just simply swipe across. So that's a change from the old version uh, where you'd, you'd hit the uh, at sign and start typing the person's name and have to remember what their username was. Uh, so it's kind of irritating previously. Okay, so another change is uh, if we back out of uh, this message here, this tweet, um, you'll actually get full draft support. So it'll actually notify you if you want to save it or discard it. Um, you can obviously save and then uh, go into the My Profile and then uh, access your your drafts in there. And so another change um, in the Twitter application is you obviously get the toast on Windows Phone, um, but you actually get a lock screen notification now that, uh, that you can set. So you can quickly, uh, if your phone's off and you don't have the notification, you can quickly see how many tweets you've got waiting for you. And the uh, settings section's been cleaned up. Uh, so you've obviously got the, the same multiple account uh, functionality. You can add an account in there. Um, and you've also got the ability to change the notifications, so it's fairly granular control there. Um, and Twitter's also added an option to switch accounts there. So it's a little bit easier to, to switch accounts if you're managing multiple accounts. So one thing that's actually missing um, that's available on the Android and iOS clients is uh, photo filters. So if we add a photo and then add that into the tweet, it doesn't give you the option to, to apply a filter, um, which is obviously available on uh, Apple's and Google's platform. So Twitter's still got a little way to go um, in terms of features to bring it on parity with the rest. So Twitter is really important for any sort of modern mobile uh, ecosystem. So it's good to see uh, that the Twitter guys have aligned the UI with uh, Android and iOS. And hopefully this signals some uh, further updates in, in the future um, at the same time that they come to Android and iOS too.